Well, hello, hello. Today is actually going to be much more of a quieter video because, yes, the trains are absent, and I'm actually not playing with them today because the bed was stripped apart, but it's not naked anymore. It's upgraded to a much summary sort of level. In fact, an extra bit of fur has been removed, and actually a very big piece of fur, or more like a big piece of coating on my duvet or quilt or blanket has been removed leaving it with a thin layer. How nice is that? Perfectly designed well and fitting for summer because the heat is starting to level up and it really is starting to level up the whole warmth now but anyways one of the first products I'm going to show you here is this and it's like a model pony sort of themed product here. As you can see there's Fluttershy there and yes it's called Fluttershy's New Dress at Boutique basic 5 pack and it costs about £8.50 you know it's funny I don't actually review a lot of the model pony themed flip flap origami products and as you can see we've got the little red dot here yep that little red dot really does indicate the coronavirus pandemic as always as this sounds and the Fluttershy is of course a pegasus as you can tell there's a lot of info and yes yeah, she also comes with a headpiece but the headpiece um, doesn't actually come with the pink feathers as shown as the artwork though like you know either real or fake bird feathers look what it says there this fully pink hair piece is not included £8.50 is of course the price for this um, did I just set it earlier or not though actually I need to, before I should unpack this I'm actually going to blow my nose ah <coughs> oh, yuck oh great that's like the start of the hay fever season even though I might catch COVID-19 for this <laughs> oh god, I'm actually blaming on those so hard. Why do I have to do that though? But anyways, I'm just going to take a look at the back of the packaging now. We've got a podium there next to her. Oh, Rarity. Um, yep, that's her. That's uh, Rarity, of course. That's the one I know. Watching from the show that I did back in 2016. And speaking of that year... Created since 2016 as a toy range. Yep, I actually made some pony themed toys for the Flip Flap Company, which is my company. And mind you, um, I actually made them. In fact, 2016 was like the hot spot year for my little pony toys. I actually made. Oh my god, Rarity. You actually have a beautiful something. Oh my god, your smile overall looks beautiful, but yours almost looks like a corpse. Oh my goodness me, hey, she's got. You know, three diamonds as a key mark there. I don't know what you can hear in the background, but it's like the toilet's actually fizzing, but I'm pretty sure there's dirt inside, which makes it sort of weird. Let me just go ahead and unpack this and see what we have. Okay, here we go. We've got Rarity and what it looks like to be a box unit with a podium. We've got Rarity and we've got a headdress thing involved. We've got a. Oh my goodness me, we've got. Well, it looks like to be a dress or a gown, and we've got Fluttershy, which looks very, very nice. Oh my god. It really does bring back some memories watching My Little Pony um, for about three and a half, actually four years ago. Maybe maybe four and a half years ago, actually. I <coughs> <laughs> just burps in this video. Uh, um, it, that happens. It does happen every time on my YouTube channel. Um, that's a very interesting smile there, Fluttershy. She's got bluish green eyes, she's got eyelashes there, she's got a pink mane in fact the mane's more of a yellowish sort of orangey sort of fiery colour but it's more pink, in fact pink is much more of a paler version of red you know uh, there's her tail and she's got wings because she's like a pegasus in a sense though, she is in fact a pegasus and she's also got a name Fluttershy, there you go in fact Yes, one of my old school friends, Mariah Jennings, she actually looks like Fluttershy because of the hair. I'm pretty sure the hair of Fluttershy does remind of my friend, you know, Miss Jennings or Mariah Jennings so much though, but she's not here in our country anymore because she's gone to uh, Michigan in the USA or is it Illinois? Maybe Chicago. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure M Mariah Jennings is in somewhere in the US. I can't remember. But she's got beautiful looking kitty marks though. This Fluttershy here looks very, very nice. She's got butterfly markings as her kitty marks. In fact, there's three in a row. And on the other side, it's the same. Does it bring back some memories for you? Jeez, it does for us, eh? 
Sadly, the um, Bernie fandom and the Mall of Pony franchise has been completely dead now. In fact, 2010 must have been a very great year for the whole Mall of Pony franchise. Here's Birdie. There's her unicorn horn. Okay, as obvious as this sounds, she's got beautiful blue eyes and she's got blue diamonds, which looks very, very nice. And mind you, it looks so, so cool. In fact, you know, that's what it is. And she's also got a name right on the side here. Rarity. And she's got a purple sort of colorization on the tail and the mane. But she's also got brown because there's that lady in um, Birmingham. She is actually um, from Romanian descent, but I think she speaks with a British accent, okay? Um, she has Romanian ancestry, and I think her name is Laura. She's heading towards the university. She actually came to my school. She actually joined there for about like four and a half years, maybe four years ago. Okay, so I'm getting the memories back though. And she actually did some interviews with her personal webcam, which was very, very nice. And I actually spoken to her uh, alongside with my classmates though, which I should not name because I might trigger them. But anyway, she was very nice though. She was very, very nice. And she gave out some tests for me as well though. So that's why I made Rarity having brown splodges on her you know on her pink mane and her pink tail if she had that sort of colorization on her head she's gonna be very exasperated on the My Little Penny franchise but she's not gonna be like this in the Flip Toy Room or maybe somewhere something completely different and we've got a little headdress there without its feathers as obvious as this sounds it's got a snake like pattern of blue and we've got four circles, as always as this looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. Very, very nice. And I think they go well with Fluttershy here. So let me just have a good fit in with Fluttershy here. See if the whole fashion style works. Jeez, this is actually going to be quite tricky, eh? Um, let's try to head down here first. Oh my goodness me, am I actually doing it so well? Let's just put the webcam like so. My goodness me, it works! And there's also like a little dress or gown with some spots on it, which are pink. It's like a good combination of purple and pink. It makes it pretty girly. It's got a coupling feature here. If I put it on the back of Fluttershy here. Okay, does it work? Might be those pop figures of Milo Pony. In fact, I could name a whole bunch of Milo Pony um, characters as I'm trying to fit in this dress. Like, you know, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie. Yes, Pinkie Pie is, of course, the most comedic of all. And all fun-looking characters of course in the My Little Pony uh, franchise and you know who's that one the main protagonist you know um what's the one? Twilight Bum Sparkle oh sorry Twilight Sparkle sorry why do I keep on calling her Twilight Bum Sparkle because maybe I'm just watching that video from Stuart and Ashens and stuff okay that's the gown fitting onto the back of Fluttershy okay oops <laughs> there you go and there's the podium which has got a combination of purple and pink stripes on this section here and also this section here there's a beautiful looking Union Jack sort of flower pattern going on here as well that's just about it eh? and I think Rody fits in as well but not for Fluttershy because she is too wide look at that she could literally break her bones in one time oh my goodness me this video oh my goodness you know what this video or review might go well I'm not quite sure, but I think I actually had a lot of attempts doing this, and I don't know I'm actually going to be doing it quickly today. Next product overall is uh, the official character mascots figure 5 pack. Oh, it's a Thailand 2020 event! So I have actually haven't reviewed a lot of the Thailand 2020 events so far, though, and this product sells for £7.99 or £8. And I actually haven't gotten to Thailand 2020 items for a long time because of the coronavirus pandemic. There you go, there's a the back of the packaging here. Okay, I don't know why I'm talking fast here, but let me just have a... Oh, great, let me just have a real go. And the reason why I've changed it from September to the 30th of August 2020 is because, yes, we might be heading towards school on the 2nd of September 2020, and that's what it says there, best before 2nd of September 2020, and that's what it is. A very henceful sort of title, or sort of sentence here. Okay. Yes, part of the Thailand 2020 event. Oh, sorry, why did I actually call it event? I, I should have mentioned it as event. 100% of course. Um, anyway, we, we've got some characters here. We've got Burple. We've got Waitara. Okay, Burple is the purple heron. Waitara is a white-throated kingfisher. Jack is the black-capped kingfisher, if I show you on the top there. Okay. 
And King Hornsby is the great horn girl. And on the front cover, we've got Ryder, who's like a crazy, derpy looking Roddy Kingfisher. <laughs> you gotta love Ruddy. He's so crazy. He's a bit like derpy. Actually, I thought of one character I could create. Well, I mean, the Marvel Pony franchise is dead now. Yes, we've got a little bit. Oh, yep, we've got the little red dot. Just to symbolise we've got COVID-19 in our world. Um, yes, very, very interesting. <coughs> uh, I could actually, like, you know, make, you know, some several different Marvel Pony like characters in a sense. You know, I could literally create one character called Midnight. Hopefully, I'm not going to swear this time. Midnight Colt Flap. That'd be a cool name, eh? Now uh, we've got Burple, the purple heron here. Easy but greedy, and he's number one. You know, they all look very, very nice. Um, in a sense, looks very, very nice. The phrase looks excellent. Okay, okay, it's very, very nice. In fact, very interesting. Almost looks, you know, sort of semi-realistic. Yep, the legs look nice. Uh, sort of a very beautiful looking hair and neck, okay? So it's very beautiful in a sense. You've got these beautiful black feathers right behind him. And, um, um oh, does that just burp? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes. Very, very nice. <coughs> oh, did that just. <coughs> <coughs> I just sneezed. Oh, great. That's just about it, eh? Uh, we've got Purple the Purple Heron. We've got White Tara, the White for the Kingfisher. That's him. Yep, we've got him. There's... I don't know if you can stand these guys up. Waitara. Uh, there's Jack. Hopefully he's got his invisible glasses here. I think. I'm thinking that there are some pieces of merchandise here that Jack doesn't have any glasses there, but I don't think I've made any because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, there's Rada, the ruddy kingfisher. Okay. Three kingfishers put out the fire. And here we have... King Hornsby. Let's not forget King Hornsby. Or should I say, don't forget King Hornsby. And that's one of our newest hornbills. Forever then, baby. Why am I thinking of making a new song called All the Way to Tie? In fact, I've actually made an instrumental version on my YouTube channel. You can actually... There's actually an advertisement on my YouTube channel on the back of the packaging here. Check out All the Way to Tie by Evan Lee in the, on the Flip Flap channel. That's what it says there. By YouTube. There you go. <coughs> Okay, very nicely detailed. Um, yes, looks quite nice, but I think the the, the only um I don't think the um the detailing on the um the horn part of the beak is not that right for me. Okay, so it's not that correct for me because I wish I preferred it if it was more like uh, that versus that. To me, it looks more like a um a banana shape. Uh, I was trying to do that because. You know, I just didn't want to make it look like the rhinoceros hornbill from Malaysia. Uh, you know, the national bird of Malaysia, the rhino hornbill. But this is the great hornbill, much larger than the rhino hornbill, or rhinoceros hornbill. Oh, sorry. Uh, looks very, very nice. Very similar to the flapping birds version of these guys, but these are much more different, okay? And um, they actually look quite nice figures, actually. I would say. Very beautiful looking. And I'm going to take a look at some other toys at the moment here. I think that's just about it. But we've got another one coming in. Let me just go ahead and show you what it is. Ooh, what's this? Some minced meat on a box. £7.95. Ooh, it's a British Wildlife Collection toy, I think. It's got a little red dot indicating we've got COVID-19 in our world. <laughs> I should probably say this until the COVID-19 outbreak is finished. Or done. Um, hedgehog mating ritual behavior and minced meat bowl five pack. Looks like a couple of bowling pins, but it's actually chicken drumsticks. Mmm, sounds delicious, doesn't it? Back of the packaging looks like that. Very detailed. Looks like, oh my god, this is like Sonic the Hedgehog in reality. Looks like the eyes are split on Amy Rose there. Why am I thinking of Sonic at the moment though? Okay, hedgehogs have like 6,000 spines in reality, of course, <coughs> and that's what we have. It looks quite nice. And I wonder what the designs are like. Oh, I can see some new designs actually. Let me just go ahead and unpack this and see what we have. Uh, I think this is what packaging used to look like in the Flip Up universe. I think they actually looked like that during 2017 or 2016. That was like the good old days, you know. Okay, you've got a little box. 
okay, which is much bigger than you know a strip piece of paper box, okay. And we've got some chicken drumsticks, which are fake looking, of course. We've got these like that, very simple indeed. And we've also got some hedgehogs. We've got a male hedgehog, and we've also got a female hedgehog, which is the one I'm actually handling now. This is a female. And here is the male, which I actually forgot to show you guys in the first place. Sorry about that one, eh? The male needs to come here. Oh god, looks like his eyes have been disoriented. Looks sort of genuinely creepy, but... Reminds me of Sonic EXE. Oh my god, eh? Almost looks like, yes, it reminds me of the movie Sonic. Yeah, you, know, you know, when I think of the eyes being split in like that. Okay, very interesting tail. Almost looks like a pangolin by the looks of it, okay? Looks more like a pangolin than a hedgehog, in my opinion, but I actually designed this after um, Joe Nakashima's uh, tutorial on how to make one of these hedgehogs like that. And it was, oh my god, pretty hard. Uh, pretty intermediate, low intermediate, of course, but I think I've successfully done it. I think this is what I could do, create a hedgehog or another spiny creature which looks like that. Very beautiful, eh? And I think this is like, okay, this is like a mating ritual. Like, if I can do like that, this is what hedgehogs... I like in reality, you know, that's what it is, <laughs> you know, a very interesting creature of, you know, of nocturnality, you know, they're very active at night, and most importantly, they might like this, males go on top and females go on the bottom, <laughs> that's mating ritual guys, eh, <laughs> oh my goodness me, yep, very very nice, that's what it is, and I obviously just want to check the time though, Oh goodness me, eh? Feels like I'm just running over, you know, towards 8 o'clock now. Uh, but anyways, I might show you a couple of coronavirus themed cards along the way, of course, because that's a very nice thing to do. Or not. Yep, that's all I can say about the hedgehogs, though. Mind you, Shadow isn't here, but we've got Sonic and Amy in our hands. I could make another hedgehog product where we can have Sonic. A Sonic-like hedgehog. You know, a, a toy that looks like a hedgehog, but more like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do a bit of a quickie roll up here with some coronavirus themed cards. What is that? I can see the word C. Yep, and it's called Coronavirus Gently Down the Sea. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my god, what is that? Mediterranean, I believe. Spain and Italy. Oh god, this is like freaking row, row, row your boat. Oh god, this is like, oh my god. People are gonna get triggered when I just literally listen to that song there. Or you may listen to the song, you might get triggered, but I might be wrong, or you might be wrong, or oh, I don't know. That's just about it, eh? <laughs> but lovely artwork here. We've got what looks like to be a very sad looking emoji. I think that's what colour that they should have chosen for. Uh, but they've just stuck to yellow, like they did with other emojis, of course. We've got a tombstone, of course, and we've got some quotes. I'm sorry, my beautiful herb. I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what to say, but the world's totally screwed. Curse you, coronavirus! I believe you have been eating bats or whatever the blooming hell it is. <laughs> Oh, yep, really does goes to show you that there's some possible scientific um, evidence that bats are found as reservoirs or natural disease reservoirs for this particular invincible or invisible killer. <laughs> Why do I mispronounce these two words though? Anyways, um, that's what we have. Look at this. I hope you get well soon and live for a lifetime. Well, forever. That's weird, eh? Um, there's a very weird fact here. It says coronaviruses are a type of virus belonging to the RNA virus family. And once again, like your typical cards, like you know, you get well soon cards, that's what we have here. Love from two and ratings. Very, very nice. In the back we've got black sand. Something I am pretty sure this is black sand, okay? Reminds me of that uh, of a film that I can't remember. Um we've got some seagulls on the top. Okay, and it almost looks like, is that Iceland? I'm pretty sure Iceland has got black sand, uh, black sandy beaches. And on the front cover, we've got what looks like to be a pufferfish, uh, detailed in the shape of a coronavirus, 
with some seagulls again and some flies stinky isn't it eh and the seas are dirty as well and you can see just how intricately designed the water to look like it's imaginarily dirty uh, if it's sort of a very dirty sort of picture day but in a more cartoony sort of way so we've got flies and we've got another coronavirus stylized puffer fish as well maybe they aren't puffer fish but maybe I can call them corona fishes if that's a wrong or a right thing to say here I don't know why but that song is very reminiscent to that cheesy row 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 your boat song that I think growing ups are going to get very concerned of I want to say teenagers and adults young adults might get you know triggered by this <laughs> Jeez, my nose is actually itching today because we've got high pollen levels coming up yep that's this card done and we've got another card here so I might show you next well last but my name is least is actually a Christmas card oh my goodness me this is extremely early this is the first official Christmas themed item for 2020 and what we've got here is a card called don't let the flu bugs bite this Christmas very cool isn't it we've got what well, looks like the be Rudolph the wet nose reindeer with a hand sanitizer or a hand wash piece of soap blah blah amongst a swarm of coronaviruses which look cartoonically visible <laughs> why am I thinking of cartoonically as a great pun no? Eh? Um, unlogically, I would say illogically visible more like um, what we have here oh that's a very nice one here look what we have wishing you a merry merry christmas actually wishing you and your family a very merry 2020 christmas and a happy new year good tidings that's what we all have and to point nice let's take a look at this section here not sure you can see it very visibly uh, it's very, sim very very similar to other cards though you can add as many running as you want though you've got a stocking in fact there's actually a couple of stockings and a couple of Santa hats and we've got the year 2020 stylized with two zeros as a coronavirus <coughs> or a pair of coronaviruses <laughs> I've just burped again <laughs> I've just burped oh god I've just burped twice in this video but let's take a look at the other side okay I've got a derpy looking version of an and we've got a derpy anthropomorphic version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and we've got some sort of weird you know semi-realistic sort of cartoony anime style or manga style version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in fact maybe these reindeer aren't Rudolph at all and on the top we've got Merry 2020 Christmas stay safe oh, <laughs> safe actually not safe uh, stay safe at this merry time that's what it is though because maybe during Christmas COVID-19 will still be there <laughs> but anyways we've got a couple of coronaviruses on the year of 2020 we've got a Santa Claus hat we've got some holly leaves and we've also got another Santa Claus hat as well in fact there's three and we've got two stockings that's just about it and that's what I can say in this video well I gotta tell you what this video has actually became you know chronically hard to produce because I was actually having loads and loads of attempts of making this video and not only that I actually didn't know what to say but nevertheless it's actually quite very good to make videos like this and this is definitely uh, this could be like the first video of May that you know there are no signs of trains running along in this video of course actually I love that hand sanitizer though let me just show you what it is extreme aqua Cowax hand wash that's very cool isn't it eh? that's absolutely nice oh my goodness me I do love the coronaviruses screaming of course and they're just petrified about that hand sanitizer looks like they're oh my goodness me it looks like Rudolph is going to be like oh my god you know what guys there's one thing I'm actually going to do next for this year's Christmas I'm actually going to freaking kill you all <laughs> no, I think this reindeer is actually talking to all of the coronaviruses though but in reality they won't because they won't notice it but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. Of course, yes, this video has been a lot more quieter because we've got no trains. And yes, this is the first time I've actually haven't done any uh, videos like this during May 2020 like I did with April. Okay. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're, of course, new 
or if you want to see more videos, buy me of course. That's just about it guys, please do it though. And I don't know how much boring content I could do on YouTube. Maybe I could literally just get, you know, a thousand, you know, couple of views a day. I don't know, I could literally just think of many of the whole bunch of gazillion things I have in my brain though. But there you go. That's a whole bunch of, you know, toys I've roughly reviewed. But mind you, this has been like a very weird video. I don't know what to start here or to end here. Okay. You know what? I think that's just about it, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. That's all I have to say. And as always, thanks for watching in this very strange video. And quiet video, of course. And you're going to say next, don't you? Bye for now.